His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which both sides reviewed the broadly historic ties between the two countries and discussed recent developments in the region. His Majesty held the initiative of forming an Islamic military alliance led by Saudi Arabia to combat terrorism, in addition to establishing a joint operations center to support military operations. His Majesty also noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the first countries countries to participate in the alliance based on the kingdom's keenness to enhance cooperation regarding combating terrorism. His Majesty affirmed the Saudi Arabia's pioneering role led by the custodian of the two holy mosques in defending regional and international causes as well as its efforts in combating terrorism. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain celebrating its national days on December 16th and 17th, marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 43rd anniversary of joining the United Nations as a full member, and the 16th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in celebrating Bahrain's national holiday and wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness. He pledged to continue the efforts and hard work needed to move the kingdom towards further development and prosperity. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, recognizing His Royal Highness's role in advancing the country towards further development and achieving security, safety and national unity. His Majesty the King also received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking Bahrain's celebrations of its national days on December 16th and 17th, marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, and the 16th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince said that on the occasion, Bahrain reflects on the many achievements and developments that have provided a better life for the people under His Majesty the King's reform project. He said Bahrain has made tremendous political and development achievements thanks to His Majesty the King's wise vision of Bahrain as a state of institutions and law. He pledged to continue with His Majesty's developmental march for the welfare of Bahrain and its people and wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness and further prosperity to the kingdom under His Majesty's wise leadership. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to the Crown Prince, thanking him for his sentiments and affirming that Bahrain would continue on the path of progress. He, he highlighted the progress already achieved in building a promising future in order to achieve security, safety and national unity. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for his, uh, for his role in developing the kingdom and reinforcing its stability. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from his wife and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Days and marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 43rd anniversary of joining the United Nations as a full member, and the 16th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Princess Sabika expressed her support for His Majesty the King's pioneering initiatives that reflect His Majesty's keen interest in Bahrain's development and welfare. Her Royal Highness expressed thanks and gratitude for His Majesty the King's efforts to upgrade the status of women and for encouraging her to maintain her achievements to reflect the outstanding position of Bahraini women. Princess Abika also pledged to His Majesty to continue supporting Bahraini women in line with His Majesty's aspirations. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable to her Royal Highness thanking her for her good wishes. He noted Princess Sabika's distinguished role in elevating the status of women and enabling them to contribute to the kingdom's social, economic and cultural development. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the national holidays. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's achievements and his contribution in driving the kingdom towards the greater development and prosperity. Princess Salman wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continued good health and happiness. In reply, His Royal Highness Prince Prince Khalifa sent a cable to the Crown Prince thanking him for his good wishes and praising his efforts in Bahrain's development and progress. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Gudaybiya Palestine a number of intellectuals, journalists, religious figures, state officials and scores of citizens. The audience congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day, wishing him and the people of Bahrain many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister confirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, is ongoing with its developmental approach, stressing that the government's top priority is the citizens and meeting their needs. He expressed a pleasure in meeting with the citizens and pointed out that Bahrain has witnessed many important historic turns which showed the loyalty and love of the people. He added that national occasions are an opportunity to celebrate and renew loyalty to the homeland and exert more efforts for its prosperity. His Royal Highness highlighted that the cohesion and national unity of the society must be preserved, stressing that all matters can be resolved in internally without foreign intervention. Regarding regional situations, the Prime Minister commended the formation of the Islamic Counterterrorism Coalition led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which includes 34 Islamic countries. He said this step not only confirms Saudi Arabia's vital role in combating terrorism, but also proves that Islamic countries reject and fight terrorism. His Royal Highness confirmed that terrorism has no religion and that the attempts to attach it to Muslims is wrong saying that the new formed coalition is a strong response. The Prime Minister asserted that such alliances are required to face and eliminate terrorism and achieve that security and stability of the people to continue the country's development process.
Israel Highness Your Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from their Majesty's Highnesses, Kings, Princes, Ministers and Presidents of Arab countries on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day. They wished His Royal Highness health and prosperity to Bahrain and to its people and many happy returns. His Royal Highness received messages of congratulations from the following. His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan Al Bulqi of Brunei Darussalam Chairman of the Executive Committee of Palestinian Liberation Organization, Mahmoud Abbas, the President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, Maitri Pala Sursina, China's Prime Minister Li Keijiang, Tunisian Prime Minister Habib Said, Prime Minister and Minister of Interior of the State of Qatar, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani, Prime Minister of Sri Lanka, Ranil Wicker Missing, Algerian Prime Minister Abdul Malik Salal, Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak, Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina Wajid, His Royal Highness Governor of Saudi Arabia's Eastern Province, Prince Saud bin Nai bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and Foreign Affairs Minister of Sri Lanka, Mangala Samar Swera. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman Bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Qutaybiya Palace Interior Minister Lieutenant General Rashid Bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the Executive Director of the International Institute for Strategic Studies Sir John Jenkins. His Royal Highness affirmed and lauded the strong relationship between Bahrain and the UK in various fields and lauded the signed agreement and the MOU between the two countries. He said the challenges faced by the region, especially terrorism affirms the need to take the needed measures to enhance security and stability, pointing out the significant role of the UK in this field. His Royal Highness then discussed topics of common interest, stressing the importance of strengthening cooperation between the two countries. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received today a delegation from the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, led by the com Commandant of the NATO Defense College, Major General Janus Bujarski, currently on a visit to the Kingdom. The Commander-in-Chief lauded the outstanding relations between Bahrain and NATO and stressed the need to develop the existing bilateral relations and coordination in order to achieve a common interest and strengthen the pillars of security and stability in the region. Under the auspices of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the University of Bahrain held a poetry event on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day. Education Minister Dr. Majid al Naimi, Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, and a number of officials were present. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Lauded the participation of the poets, pointing out the importance of poetry in expressing the love for the king and the kingdom, affirming his continuous support to these events. He also lauded the effort of the University of Bahrain and the Students Council in organizing such events to develop students' skills, stressing the importance of holding more poetry events, which has a wide interest by poets in Bahrain. Dean of Students Affairs of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Assam Al Jodar, delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for supporting the poetry event at the university, which contributes to show students' skills and enrich patriotism in students' hearts. President of the Student Council, Abdul Aziz Al Ajmi, expressed appreciation for His Highness's continuous support in such events, stressing the importance of holding national celebration events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser honored the poets at the end of the event, and the university also gave His Highness a souvenir on this occasion.
Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired today the weekly meeting where he congratulated the wise leadership and Bahrain on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day, wishing Bahrain peace, security, and stability. Al Mullah lauded the positive cooperation between the Council and the government, which contributes to achieve more gains for Bahrain and its people despite the economic and political development in the region, stressing the Council's keenness to work on the democratic march and support the reform project to achieve the best interest for Bahrain and its people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, signed an agreement today with the Russian Minister of Justice, Alexander Konovlov, regarding Bahrain, regarding people sentenced of deprivation of liberty in order to enhance cooperation between the two countries in the field of law by facilitating the transfer process of convicted people to their countries. The minister hailed this agreement and affirmed the ongoing growth of Bahraini-Russian relations in all fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, visited the Moscow Grand Mosque in the Russian capital and was received by the Deputy Chairman of the Central Muslim Spiritual Board of Russian, Demir Halilovich. The minister hailed Russia's keenness to open the mosque, which reflects Russia's society openness and tolerance, hailing Russia's remarkable role in maintaining global peace. The minister toured the mosque and was briefed with these sections and facilities. For his part, Demir Halilovich expressed his appreciation for the consolidated Bahraini-Russian ties and wish the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh May bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the celebrations of the UNESCO 70th anniversary at St. Petersburg International Cultural Forum in Russia. Sheikh May affirmed the importance of developing culture in societies and highlighted the importance of cultural exchange between different civilizations. The St. Petersburg International Cultural Forum celebrations come in line with the UNESCO 70th anniversary in concurrence with the 20th fifth anniversary of inscribing the first World Heritage Site in Russia.